Welcome to Vocalize. I'm Carissa. I'm the founder of The Music Junction, and we have two music schools in Burbank, and we also do virtual lessons. And I started Vocalize because I wanted to create a space for singers to warm up their voices. Everyone can sing. So even if you don't consider yourself a singer, eventually you're going to get that, oh yeah, I can sing. Ah, okay. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below so that you can get notified about more videos like this one. Thank you for being here with me and doing this with me, you guys. So let's just do a little bit of humming to start out on mmm, and we're gonna Hi. Let's do like a little bit of working with our our breath because our breath is so important to singing. It's really the the motor for all of the sound. The engine for your sound is your breath. So let's all do it on a on a shh. And we'll take a deep breath and then shh as long as you can. Ready? Here we go. Deep breath. And shh. I'm going to count to 10, okay? So deep breath and shh on 10. Ready? Deep breath. And shh. Again, deep breath, and shh. Did you make it that long? Make sure you make it all the way to the end. 10 counts, deep breath, and last time, shh. Okay, I'm gonna make this harder. We're gonna to go to 15, all right? So, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then we'll be done. All right, deep breath. That's 15, good, deep breath. We'll do it one more time. Oh, was that hard? When I get to the end and I start to run out of air, that's when I start to engage my tummy. So like my diaphragm and is right below my rib cage. I can, and my, my stomach muscles right there, I'll squeeze that or I'll squeeze my whole like stomach area and that'll give me some extra muscle. So let's practice using our stomach on ha, 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 ha. So everyone do that with me. Ha, ha. Try it double time. Ha 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 ha
that are professional singers may not do practice this very often. So it might be hard for you, even if you are uh, an advanced singer. It, uh, you want to, on those fast ones, you want to engage your diaphragm every single time. Ha, 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 every time. And that's how you can get really good at it. And then it's really easy to start out songs. Um, you start out any note and to add extra support when you need to um, do a harder lick or when you need more breath at the end of a phrase, that's when you start to engage it, whenever you need a little bit of extra help. All right, so can we just do a little sliding? Ma, 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 ma. Really slide it. Ma. For being on the call. This is really low right here. Ah. So we're getting, we're just really slurring and, you know, making it as smooth as possible. Let's do it on an E. I do ease I feel a little bit like the top of my tongue you say like make that shape e e e you feel how your tongue raises just a little bit just very naturally you're not like forcing it to do that but just to make that that vowel shape e like if you're very very relaxed e e you feel how your tongue is just naturally raising a little bit e e and if you imagine like think about the inside of your mouth right now Imagine the inside of your mouth. Think about like the shape that that's making. Eee, and kind of kind of picture that. Eee, the sound is coming out, um, traveling on the breath that's going right above your tongue. Eee, and then you can kind of imagine how much space is above your tongue and below your 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 the roof of your mouth. Eee, eee, that's where the sound's coming through. And I'm having you think about this because I just want you to connect your mind more to what your voice is doing. And focus your mind. This is kind of like a meditation exercise. Focus your mind right on the top of your tongue and below the roof of your mouth, that little space where sound's coming out, like right, ha, right there. Focus your mind on that, like visualize that and go e. What does it look like in your mind's imagination? So think about that while we do this. Guys are an octave below or below. Or below. I'm thinking, while we're all thinking about that space that the sound is traveling through out of our mouth, I want you to think of that as like part of a tunnel. And the tunnel is coming from where the breath starts in your lungs and going through your trachea, and the tunnel is going through your mouth and above your tongue and below the roof of your mouth, and it's going all the way out, and it's ending like at least two feet away from you. And that tunnel is where the sound is traveling. So think about the whole journey of the sound that's coming out of you so that you can have it be in that, um, um, have momentum. It gives it that momentum because it's traveling. And maybe if you just press, put your hand like out here, I'm going to hit my mic and have your, like, think about that that's where the end of that tunnel is. And then imagine the sound ending there. It doesn't end here. It doesn't end here. End the sound there and see how that helps you with keeping everything coming out. Okay, here we go. On E. 
very gentle. take a minute and rub your jaw because you really want your jaw to be relaxed especially back here you feel like the bone of your jaw it's a really good idea like before you sing um, after 10 minutes of singing um, whenever you feel tension you give yourself a little massage right here Ugh, I can really feel that that feels really good especially if you have TMJ or if you grind your teeth then you get really tense right here so for those of us adults on the call that wear um, mouth guards because you grind your teeth, you might feel some tension there. So let's rub it all out and drop your jaw. Just let your jaw relax. We really want when we're singing, we want our face to feel like it's just totally released. And then we we move our, our um, we coordinate our, our consonants as much as we need to. And besides that, we just relax everything. It's kind of like your jaw and your face is just like been shot with Novocaine at the dentist and you can't feel it. Okay, so let's do that on 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 ya. So I'm doing like nya. Yeah, it gets you right in the front of your face and you should feel a lot of the sound vibrating in front of your face like on your mask and your teeth. Yeah. Now really use a nya as we get higher because we're going to go towards your mix. And when we go into your mix, it's a lot easier to be on nya, nya, nya instead of ah in your mixed voice because you're going to get up more in the front of your face. Nya. Nya, 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 nya. Even a little whiny sounding. Nya, 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 nya. Nya, 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 nya. Nya, 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 nya. This will get you up higher than you normally can go in your chest voice. So it's a trick. Nya, 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 nya. And you should feel almost nothing. Nya, 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 nya. Don't feel, just make sure it's balanced enough that you have almost no feeling. So you're really not tensing or engaging too much. Nya. Nya, 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 nya. We did half steps before. Let's try that. You hear how how um, whiny and and annoying I sound? That is the easiest placement. I'm not gonna get up and sing sing like this. It probably wouldn't sound that pretty if I just sing like that. But it makes it a lot easier for you to get into that range. And then as you find the, the ease of it, you can start to open it up. So it's like the beginning stage of working on your mix. That's like the beginning place in your warm-ups. You usually want to warm up from the easiest uh, placement options first. And then when you sing full songs, you can use that as a foundation. And then you can you know open it up when you get into the, the songs. So here we go. Nya, 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 nya. Where am I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you should feel a lot 
lot of warm up in your mix range now. For those of you that are learning singing in the early stages, you may not be familiar with what mix is, but your mix is the highest part of your speaking voice mixing it with the lower part of your head voice, which we, a lot of times if we don't sing and we mainly just speak, we're probably used to using our chest voice because most of the time we speak in our chest voice. You wouldn't often hear me speak in my head voice. It sounds a little funny. You might have met some people that speak in their head voice or maybe like if you watch a TV show or a musical theater character that might speak in their head voice. But most of the time, people don't speak in their head voice. So if you are not uh, normally singing, you're probably, your chest voice, which is for your lower notes, is probably more developed than your head voice. Also for male singers, male singers are, may not off, uh, uh, use your head voice as often, but it's really great for adult male singers to practice your head voice placements because that opens up some more options if you want to go a little bit higher than your chest voice will take you. So when we work on our mix, we're mixing them together. We're at the top of our top of our chest voice, but we're mixing in a little bit of head voice. So let's work on our head voice so that we can use more of that. Let everyone go, woo, 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 These are just some sirens. I love starting out with head voice on sirens because it's really easy to get into the placement. So everyone just go, woo. Especially for adult male singers right now, I want you guys to be thinking about finding the ease in this. Ooh, don't try to make it sound really, you know, loud or 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 um, too like focused. You just make it sound light and fun and easy. Ooh. For female singers, for female sopranos, you may be really familiar with this range because a female soprano voice is going to be up there a lot. Let's try. Ooh. I'm just giving, this is a little bit hard. It's going to be fun for some of the soprano singers on the call. It's going to be um, a little bit more challenging if you're first time singing in your head voice. Uh, what I want you to do if you are in the early stages of developing your voice is slide. So you might go like, Ooh. you know. And as you get more advanced, you can articulate each note more specifically. So here we go. Stay light. If this is getting too high for you, you can drop down an octave or you can take a quick break. I always modify a little bit to ah. I kind of have to drop my jaw when I go up that high. It's like, oh, you know, just a little cheat towards ah. And once we get to a certain range in the higher notes, we start to kind of cheat the vowels to drop our jaw and to go into certain, go into like more open placements so that it's more easy to hit those high notes. If you feel yourself manipulating your vowel and changing it a little bit to go into the high notes, that's correct. You can totally do that. Here we go. to drop out drop back in because we're getting a little lower now and we're going to see how low can you take your head voice because as you go lower you're going to naturally switch to your speaking voice so just don't do that take your head voice all the way down so you'll start to sound like this and that's fine just feel how low you can take your head voice That 
was a, a E flat, so very close to middle C. Um, for those of you that know your notes, middle C is kind of right in the middle of the, the C in the middle of the piano, and it's the a note that most of us can sing very comfortably. It's the note in our in our chest voice range. Anywhere around C, middle C, D above that, E above that. It's pretty simple for pretty much everyone to stay in that range. But let's practice going through our whole range. So if we go like ah, uh, and maybe go a little bit towards A eh, to make it easier to go through your mix. Eh, eh, and I just want you to practice smoothing through your registers right now. So all the, we're going to go through a wide range and you're just going to slur it. Here we go. I'm going to my head voice at the top. Every through every note, so it's like eh, feel it go all the way through your range. Eh, 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 eh. Just doing an ah, ah, and try to ooh, ooh, try to e. Good. Okay, so we've done a lot of work through our whole range. So you guys have a, a nice, um, you're eased into like all the different notes, high and low notes, head voice, chest voice, uh, the nasal resonance in, in between, and everything. So I'm going to have you play around with that now. Let's do it in the key of E flat. flat major. So we're going to just do it on ah. 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 So let's do um ah the notes and then we're going to take a deep breath and try to do that all in one breath. Here we go. do it. <laughs> Could you do it in one breath? Let's try to do it in two breaths. <laughs> Here we go. Could you do it in two breaths? I know I could, so at least we have, I, at least I know it's possible. <laughs> so try it again. I'm gonna add a little bit to it, so let's go. Add a couple, couple um, passing notes that are a little quicker. So it's na na. Ready? Here we go. Na. Last time, now you 
to die for At the end, those are long phrases. So at the end of those phrases, I use my breast support. So that's when you're going to want to engage your your uh, diaphragm and your stomach muscles right here. Ha, ha, engage them in the second half. Okay. So we're going to make this a little bit different now. Na, 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 na. So we'll do. Na, 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 in just two breaths now here we go so hold that first phrase through the first two segments here we go no so I didn't take a breath at the end so only two breaths you get one breath in the middle and that's it so deep breath here's your first breath no That wasn't easy. So you practice singing over this chord progression in a few different uh, notes and melodies. So now I'm going to sing just a straightforward mid-range melody, and I want you to harmonize with me. So that means that you're going to sing a different note. Don't sing what I'm singing. Sing a different note that matches mine. Find it with your ear. Listen in and blend with my voice, and then see what sounds good together, okay? And you can do it on a, ah, u, e, you know, la, any kind of um, vowel that you want to pick. So here we go. So I'm just going to go. Ah, and then you sing something else. So here we go.
Okay, I hope I give you something to rock out on and find some different notes to sing because, you know, this is actually, that is actually how you jam. So when you sing with me like that, we are jamming. And that's something that you can do in uh, any time you have an instrument and, and a voice, um, piano voice, piano and two vocals, guitar and two vocals, ukulele and two vocals. You know, you and, and another vocalist, you guys can always find harmonies. And that's really great. If you write a song and you have someone sing harmonies with you, it makes it so much more fun to sing. So thank you so much, everybody, for doing this with me. Let's be creative and let's really enjoy the gift that we have to sing. Bye, everybody. One more thing, before you go, I wanted to make sure you know about my piano intro course, which is a great way for vocalists to learn how to accompany themselves on piano. You can also learn how to read music. So like if you got sheet music, then you could actually play that sheet music for yourself so you know what to sing. And you can start playing chords like these that you could sing over so that you could be a songwriter and start to actually accompany yourself. So it's great for learning all the basics of piano. So look at the link below and you can find out more about it.